Ladies and gentlemen, we, gentlemen, now that was a weird way of saying that. <laughs> we got Nanami is still built different. When the Let's odds go. were stacked against them, who was going to bet on the losing team? No one believed in them, but you know who did? God did. When MAPPA was trending on how badly they were shooting their employees, I expected this to be cancelled, delayed, something. I hope this means they all came to some sort of agreement because I would hate to see MAPPA fall off. Them boys what be going crazy. About? But you know who else been going crazy? Big bro Nanami. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I was looking at my screen. I don't know who MAPPA is, but you know. With pure confusion. Why the fuck is bro on a beach in a full suit at that? He knows it's too hot <laughs> for all that shit. All of a sudden, he pops back into reality and we see this dirty ass nigga just posted in the corner. Now nah, he gotta be stream snob because ain't no way he just knew Nani was gonna be here. So he closes his eye and the second he opens it, the moment the cursor saw that one of the founding fathers of the JJK jumpings put up on their block, they already knew what the plan was. But when they put out that piano type beat for his little monologue, and bro was talking about how he was exhausted, I knew what was going to happen. Nanami's over here whooping ass, catching bodies left and right. They try to jump him. Going out like a straight G though. Going out like a straight G R I P Nanami. You know what time it is, bro. Uh, yeah, bro. Don't worry, we spun for that nigga. We slid for Nanami. Yeah, don't worry. Homie slid for you. Don't, don't ever worry. We got that nigga in the pack right now. Don't ever get it twisted, bro. Yeah, we throw one in the air for you, bro. We slid. Nigga slid. I said we, but you know. You know what I mean. As catching bodies left and right. They try to jump him, but they don't got the facilities for such a feat. The nope. fact that bro was going in and out of his dreamland just confirmed that this was his last squabble. Then one of the curses must have had a personal man. problem with bro. Nanami must have said something about his mom because he caught an open palm. All Slap five fingers across his face. Thing. That curse did not care about winning the battle. All it wanted was to be disrespectful. And then it came back around for seconds. And that's when Nanami had to lock in for a second. He said, fuck the dream road. I know that nigga didn't just slap me. Yo, yeah. if I was one lock of the other curses, I'd be pissed. That nigga Nanami was just on 25 HP until you disrespected his set. He must have popped a slurp juice or something because bro forgot about his injuries. Them yeah. curses might as well flip themselves over at a low seasoning because y'all niggas is Stupid. cooked. So after he took out the last curse, I was like, oh yeah, light work. That was light work. Nanami ain't finna go out to some sorry niggas like y'all. Remember me, ho ass nigga? Oh, I ain't forget. You and that bum ass eater Dory jumped me last time we met. And then Nanami looks up and- Nigga spun on you for jumping? This is exactly how it happens. Niggas get jumped, catch you by yourself. He a hoe though, cause he definitely snuck up behind you after you just got done fight. Damn near they tried to jump you. You know, you psh, I, 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 fought your way up out of there. His hoe ass nigga gonna sneak you, gonna slap, gonna pull up from the, really nigga. Hoe ass nigga, I'm glad that nigga a pack, bro. I'm I'm glad, bro. Was it Gecko that did him? I'm glad, bro. We, yeah, we throw big, yeah, mojito in the air, whatever, nigga. Oh, I ain't forget. You and that bum ass eater Dory jumped me last time we met. And then Nanami looks up and sees Hybra, however you say his name. But you can't tell me that this don't look like a damn blue lock character. So then Nanami was like, yo, eat a Dory. Whoop this nigga ass for me. See, there's a lot of characters in this show, and Nanami was one of the characters I really wanted to live. Like this nigga be pulling up in a full tux, AP on his wrist, his you Dior steppers, all yeah. that for a quick 15 minute squabble. And I- Them ain't Dior, them, them lemon pepper steppers. Get it right, them lemon pepper steppers, bro. Don't disrespect my man, bro. I was with it. Nobody else be putting that shit on for real. Nanami would really pull up to the function with his fit costing 200 bands, you bro. Feel me? Now, this is when Yuji couldn't shit. let that buffoonery go unchecked. That boy was chasing him down like how LeBron be chasing down any soul that gets on a fast break. Bing. But Mahito so refused to get put into a montage, blocked off the area, and Yuji was about to break the wall but stopped midway because he forgot Mahito was a devious individual. That wall was made up of crying curses. That's when Mahito placed down a trap he had in his inventory and summoned the Alaska asking bullworm then bro comes out his mouth to feed yuji a knuckle sandwich that one punch had bro tumbling for about 15 minutes but mato was not done he spun the block and sliced yuji's face that's when yuji was like how how can you possibly mess with so many people's lives well you see i did all this for candace who the fuck is candace <laughs> can this dick fit in your 
Yuji was fed up hearing all that bullshit come out of his mouth. But to make it even worse, Maito brought back Junpei just to stab, bro. Now, after yeah, seeing Nanami him. die and Junpei get disrespected, I'm expecting. Nah, don't. They disrespecting dead ops, bro. He disrespecting the dead homies, bro. Nah, we packed him up. Don't ever get it twisted. We we smoked Big Mo. How do you pronounce his name? Mojito? Mojito? Whatever. We smoked Big Mo, nigga. All day, every day, nigga. And it's gas, nigga. And it's very gaseous, nigga. What you talking about, bro? I don't like this nigga. I haven't even watched the show. Just through all of these reactions, I don't like that nigga, bro. They get disrespected. I'm expecting you to be playing like Miami LeBron. He threw them dukes up and was ready to box. So the wall started closing in on them, and I don't know who Yuji like feeling like trying to walk down this nigga like this. But fuck it, I'm with it. Walking Maito down. threw a jab. I don't know where this nigga learned instant transmission from, but he kicked him so hard that he had yeah, his voice seeing stupid. stars. Yuji came around with a quick uh, two uh, piece and kicked the wall back. Look how that nigga is still dazed from that kick. Yuji jumps up, pieced up the wall, dodges the blades, that Mahito turned his arm into whatever you would call that shit and slammed it into the ground. Yuji was like, oh yeah, this dumbass just whipped his attack. But Mahito said this shit is not sweet. Blocked the kick, tried to give bro a three for one special, but ended up kissing the pavement. First Stupid. Jogo, and now Mahito, every special grade must have a built-in blink feature because they always shooting at niggas. And we all know it's not a Yuji fire, bro doesn't chuck the nearest heaviest object at someone's skull. I so like now he's going down the elevator and his spidey says must have went off because bro knew exactly where Amito was going to pull up. But once again, I'm convinced Yuji went to plan a yard drive because this is bro wait wasn't this a Nanami uh video <laughs> i swear to i thought it was weird when you started at his death I, I thought it was gonna be leading up to his death what you should have called this is nigga slip anatomy that's what you should have called it you feel me because Nanami is still built the is there another there's probably a different video called Nanami's built different it's probably the first half right because i just realized it said still different oh you think you future metro booming we still don't trust you oh okay maybe i'm stupid maybe i'm ignorant my bad but i ain't gonna lie this ain't this don't show not me being built different a little bit but i was trying to see him in his in his prime nigga mixing nigga show me the jumping show me when they jump that nigga but nigga slid yeah Mito was gonna pull up, but once again, I'm convinced Yuji went to plan a yard drive because this is bro's second time using instant transmission. Turn then he was about to knock him in the back of his head, but Mito weaved it, rolled his neck up his arm. Yuji said Weak. that Mahito got mad close and trying to hit Yuji with the AO attack. Even Yuji knew that shit was paused and told that nigga to Freak back cool. up, came through with the mean cool. elbow, and he was trying to end it right here. Tech he tech. made sure to put his whole body into this punch, but Mahito ended up putting a hole in his own body to dodge it, but ended up falling with the oh, elevator. Wow. And I think this next part be considered a JJK drive-by because bro opened the door and shot at that nigga. And his next part is when I was like, what is Yuji doing? So my hero ran around the corner, right? Yuji followed and came across two people. Now, if I was him, in what world would any human being hear explosions and gunshots and not run? So right. Yuji walks up and then was like, oh, y'all shouldn't have- You know why I love these videos is because I've watched videos that are literally about the same event and it's, it's like a different perspective every time because- I don't even remember the, 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 I didn't know nothing about that little, where he was fighting the wall shit. I, I remember when he tried to kiss him on one of the other videos, but I didn't see the wall where he turned his hand, into, where Mojito turned his hand, that thing tried to hit the ground. I didn't see that. And you right, man to be here or whatever then proceeds to get snuck like come on Duh. bro how do you fall for that then he starts explaining how his plan is to break down you i will say though if you think about it that is a real that was a real big setup for a weak ass attack you set this nigga up with two uh humans for him to run up on him to sneak him you literally wore a human suit just to come out and punch him <laughs> Nigga, you're supposed to stab him right there. Like, you just punch, you could have just punched, you punched him plenty of times in this fight already. Like, come on, bro. How do you fall for that? Then he starts explaining how his plan is to break down Yuji's mental state. And if that doesn't work, he has one more card up his sleeve that's guaranteed to break something. So it turns out earlier, Mahito turned himself into two parts, both going in different directions. Obviously, one was fighting Yuji, but the other 
was fighting Nobra. His plan is to murk Nobra and drag her body to Yuji. And I'm a little scared because I messed with Nobra, bro. Her losing to the dirty nigga in overalls made me think she was getting a Sakura treatment. But Nobra doesn't care who you is. She seen that nigga was instantly talking shit. Now she yeah, was doing like some her. cool little moves or whatever, right? But I need to know, since Mahito split himself, is his power also divided between the two? Or does both versions of himself have full power? Because if they both have full power, I don't know how either one of them is going to win. Yuji got his ass being a bathroom by a nigga who doesn't squabble for real. And it seems like after season one, the author is not messing with Nobra no more. Unless someone else pulls up so they can perform the sacred arts of the JJK jumpings. I honestly don't know how they're going to win. But anyways, man, y'all know the drill. Next week. Some peace to the guys, bro. Facts. Still smoking that mojito pack. Fuck that nigga, bro. On oh, gang, bro.